Let's just get one more thing up on the screen. One more racist rapper on the screen. Since we're talking about Palestine as well. Um, Legs MC. I said I think Andrew Clinton must be his granddad. Um, Legs MC has posted a whole thing about Palestine. I've tried to keep my thoughts about this off socials, but it seems I'll have to speak up again. The counter, to counter the BS that I see on a daily basis, if you don't read books and spend all your time on social media, please don't talk to me about your stupid pro-Palestine song you brainwashed moron. Again, if you don't read books, they love to come with this. Remember, this is the moron that said... Um, that I had never been to university. He said, I can always tell when I'm speaking to someone who hasn't been to university because at university, you learn how to synthesize information. It's called synthesizing information and you learn it at university. That's what he was saying. I'm literally doing a master's right now. I read books all the time. Like I've definitely read more than any of these people talking shit to me. Um, anyway, freedom for Palestine means freedom for terrorists. Freedom, literally, this is one of the worst things I've ever read about about this situation. Like, he's not saying, um, he's literally saying freedom for Palestine, like, so the country. Not saying freedom for Hamas or nothing like that. He's saying freedom for Palestine means freedom for terrorists to act with the world on their side. It means an Islamic state, which eventually means attacks on the UK and US. This has been going on way longer than you have had that phone in your hand. Plus, you know that this is pretty much how the Third Reich started. But then again, that wasn't on social media. So you probably don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, and the Islamic countries were well up for Hitler succeeding. So maybe give that some thought. This literal, like, racist, um, Islamophobic propaganda from this scumbag is wild. Wild. Yeah, I haven't even addressed Legs MC properly on these shows because I haven't had time for him. But this is an idiot that's been trying to come for me and that we've been bodying on online constantly. Um, it's absolute nonsense. Um, so shout out to Luke, Faye. What's this? This is just us exposing some racist scumbags in the UK hip-hop scene. Um, but yeah. Johnny Coombe said Benzino. Yeah, I think Benzino is what we're going to do next. He said, chill out, Cat Williams. Um... Correct, not political, said, have you read Manufacturing Consent by Norm Chomsky? No, I have not. I have not read that. I bet you haven't either. You've probably, uh, you've probably um, read the footnotes or you probably watched, saw a meme about it. <laughs> um, why has Hakeem said that post makes zero sense? Yeah, it makes absolutely no sense. No sense whatsoever. And remember, yeah, let me just be clear about this guy. This guy was on some anti-trans agenda. Now, I don't. I haven't been coming on my show making like trans rights my specific um, issue on anything or whatever like, on any of these things. But you know, I'm for everybody, so I support them as well. But it's not something I'm super educated on, so I don't try to speak on things I don't know that much about. So I wasn't attacking him for that. I was just like, because he, I just didn't like the way he was framing everything against being woke, like Tom McDonald does. So I called him out for saying, "Oh, everything's woke all the time." Da -da -da. And I said. No, it's not all woke all the time. Yeah, it's just people asking for equality and simple things, and now you're having a whole like fit about it, um, and that co started a conflict with me and him. Right now, a lot of people didn't have that. Like, you know, it might not have had super issues with what he was saying at the time, but look what came. Look what like I'm saying. So it's just a moment of a full circle moment of I, I saw this guy was a wrong man and now he's gone all the way wrong man. like now he's literally there with the worst of the worst um but yeah take him off the screen waste man barred from hip-hop both them are barred like do not try and do hip-hop events do not try and be outside in any uk hip-hop stuff you're not welcome 